I am currently building a project on Python Anywhere. And let me just show you that quickly. If I just, uh, oops, that's the wrong thing there. Let's get this up. So here is what I'm building on Python Anywhere right this very moment, right now. If I go right here to just a jolt pythonanywhere.com it's this website right here so if i click there you can see it's basically the exam question generator if you've seen any of my videos before you'll know it. it basically does that it generates a question for you a random question and gives you the answer which if you're going to sit those kind of exams like gcse maths or physics is incredibly useful i'm actually using it for students that i teach right now uh, however i've been learning as i've been doing this all kinds of stuff about how to make my life easier now at the moment if we take a look at one of these files on Python Anywhere, if you've used Python Anywhere before, um, then you probably all know what I'm talking about. If you haven't, then Python Anywhere is basically, um, if I just go to the, if I see if I can just find the find the website, pythonanywhere.com. No, it's going to sign me straight into my own thing there. It's a it's a brilliant platform. Basically, it's a free it's a free web server. That's what I'm using it as. And um, and so what I'm doing is I'm coding in uh, Visual Studio Code right here. And then what I've been doing is I've been literally just copying, so highlighting, copy, and then going to uh, my product in Python Anywhere, going to the appropriate file, and then I've been just pasting what I've just copied into the appropriate file in order to do my updates. Now, let's let's imagine that we've got a, a folder like this, GCSE Maths, which has uh, loads and loads of, of stuff in it. Well, that's... Well, that's quite a lot to copy and paste right there anything that i change that's that's however many files i change that's that that's what i've got to copy and paste and that takes quite a long time so how do you go about um taking this from from here and these folders that you've got let me just get the folders up there so if i go to um so there's oops wrong one so there's all the folders uh, right there how do i go about getting these all of this across to there well you know you could just use git but you know it's a little bit it's, it's maybe a little bit more tricky if you don't if you don't actually pay for the service um but but like i said the way i've been doing it is by is by just opening up the file and then copying and pasting now you'll notice here that you do have the option to upload a file but you don't have the option to upload if i go back here i don't have the option to upload a whole directory so what do you do about this what's your what's your solution going to be to that well, what I discovered today uh, was was this. So um, I discovered this right here. And so I downloaded it to create zip files on the command line. I downloaded this. So this website is uh, styleworks.com dev tools. And if you just search for that, you'll you'll you want the one that style works. And I've, and I've got this here, zip.exe. And, uh, and I just click to open it. What I wanted to do was click to show it in the folder. So I'll just go back and do that. So uh, downloads, show in folder. And there it is. It's downloaded to there. Now, if I, if I cut this and paste it from here into, um, into Windows and then um, into, where am I going? Into Windows and then System32. And so I've copied and pasted that. Uh, into here so i can use it off the command line trust me it is in there now uh what was it called again it was called um go back to here it was called zip.exe so if i go back to uh back to windows again just find that i've actually i've actually pasted that in there so zip.exe there it is a zip so that's in there now and i can now use that off the command line what I've been doing is uh, this. If I just show you, you can see I've actually done this already. So I've so I've CD'd into into my appropriate folder. If you don't know how that works, actually, if I just close this up and show you right from the start, then you can just see it works. So um, CMD to get to the command line. There it is, and then CD dot dot back a directory. CD dot dot back another directory, and then CD into um, dev, which is where my project is, and then CD. Gen two and CD um, exam question generator. Pretty sure that's where it is. I will just check. I can press LS and it will just. Oops, is that not? Man, how do you dear? There you go. Right. So these are all the files that are, that, that are in there right now, and they're all the right ones. So we've got um, ECSE math. These are all the directories that I've got in that file now, and. And what I can actually do is, is using these instructions right here, it says that all you have to do 
in order to in order to now create a zip file really easily is zip dash r and then the directory the name of the directory you're going to kind of zip to the name of the file you're creating and then my dear is the name of the file you're taking it from so in my case let's let's pretend that we're doing this for gcse maths so we're going to go um zip dash r and then we're going to have gcse uh, maths uh, dot zip and we're taking that from gcse maths uh, gcse maths from the folder and that should do it so i'm going to press return and all of that now has now been compressed down into a zipped file and we can go back to here if we just go back to exam question generator we should be able to see that file it's probably already there from earlier but there it is that's that that's what you'll create and then whereas on python anywhere you were you're unable to upload um a whole folder you can upload now that file so i can go upload file i can go back to uh that's where we want to be so i can upload gcse maths now which is great and there it is it's just been uploaded and then i can go to i can open up um a bash console uh, right here console limit reach a uh, console limit reached even um, that's because I've previously been using this bunch console here so I'm I'm right there now at, at where it says uh, generator so that's so that's where it is in this particular thing and now if I just type in um, unzip and then where I'm unzipping to and then and, and the location of the file sorry uh, GCSE maths.zip. If I just type this in and then go at this point, it'll then ask me. You can see down here it's asking me um, if it wants to replace GCSE maths slash admin.py. Well, actually, I'd quite like to replace everything that's in there. So if I just type in A, it'll then. Oops, it should just. There we go. It will then go ahead and it will replace everything in that file. So I said I wanted to extract it to. Um, a folder um, called the same as the folder that I want to replace and I said all and and that's now happened at this point um, if I go back to uh, where I was before wherever wherever that was there we go so let's go back to files now uh, files generator and now that GCSE maths folder is that but unzipped so now I can get rid of this I don't need that anymore and they are other ones that I've um, previously unzipped. So that's just a, a really quick uh, an easy way that I found to uh, to do that, to upload um, a folder to Python anywhere, which actually, you know, you can't you can't really do in any other way. Now, the next thing I wanted to quickly show you is um, so even though I'm pretty much a noob with this, uh, my code is gradually becoming more and more and more Pythonic and I'm gradually able to do more and more and more stuff more quickly and more efficiently. So um, if I just show you this right here, then you'll get the idea. You'll get what I'm talking about here. Let's go to, um, where was I working earlier? I think I was working here earlier. Yeah, there we go. Right. It wasn't here. Where was it? Where are you? It was, um, oh, there you go. It was just there. I think I left one of these so that I could demonstrate it. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so right here we've got this we've got this function here, e geometry and um, problems random, and, and and at the moment it looks like it's fairly compact, but there's actually a way to make this even smaller, and that's really and that's really what I wanted to show you. So um, what I've got here is I've got module list, and then we've generated a module list using um, an external function, and then you're then doing something to that using using randin and saving that as selection, and then you're using selection in template bits. Now, all of that's all kind of well and good, but I just kind of realized today that I can short on that quite a lot. So all I'm going to do at this point is rather than saying template bits equals eval, well, I can just kind of forget about that. And I can, so get rid of that, and I can just have that as the thing that I return. So I'm just returning that. So effectively, I'm skipping a stage. I'm skipping the stage where I save that as something else and return it, and then... What's stopping me from skipping another stage? Because I can I can do that as well. So instead of saying selection equals blah blah blah, I can just put the code that would generate selection straight into there, which is this randint function. 
and it'll still work exactly the same as before, have exactly the same functionality as before. Now, for this one at the top, I'm not quite sure why, but I can't get that to do the same as the other stuff. And I'm not sure why. I'm not sure if it's just too much for Python to do or if there's some other kind of subtlety there that I'm not aware of. I just check that we're still, yeah, okay, the server's still running. So I'm now going to go to um, geometry problems random now. And let's just have a quick look at that. So if I go to, um, let's go back home here. Make sure, right, that's not the development server. So let's go to the development server, which should be running just fine. Um, to A-level physics, it was maths, though, wasn't it? So I'm going to go to maths, GCSE maths. Um, let me choose, and then... Uh, what have we got? Geometry problems random. I don't actually think I made. Oh, there you go. Did I make a random one for that? I didn't make a random one for that, which means I'm going to have to go back and have to do that to uh, another thing. Uh, the beauty of this, though, is that I can effectively let's let's do um, geometry basics random because we know that exists. So right from the start, then. So we've got geometry random basic geometry. So if I click that right now. It'll, it'll generate me something like that and, and, and I'll have to go ahead and answer the question and it'll tell me whether or not I've got the answer right or not down here. So that's fantastic. So that's using this code here. And exactly the same as what we've done down here, rather than going template bits equals eval blah blah blah, I can, I can just return that statement straight away. So I can return that statement just like that. So it's returning that statement and then I can add this into so if you look here selection equals and then you're passing selection into there well I can just do that straight away and that being done and saving that's the um, server just updating and making sure that everything's still running that'll still work exactly the same as it was before so I should be able to uh, close that and just again random basic geometry and it's still doing exactly the same thing that it was um, before it's just being a little bit more efficient now, one thing I haven't yet, for some reason, managed to be able to do, and I'm not sure why this doesn't work. If I go like this, for some reason, it doesn't like it. So I'll, so I'll go save, and there's some reason there that it thinks now that that's invalid syntax. And um, I'm quite frankly not sure why. I have no idea why that's not letting me do what I want it to do. So anyway, let's just leave that there. Eventually I might find out, it's just save again and then it will go back to normal. Yeah, I've got no idea why that is. So if anyone's got any ideas why that is and they can help me out, then please feel free to um, comment. But I just wanted to share those couple of things. Python Anywhere is, is great. It's what I've been using for like, you know, since I started this website. It's fantastic as a free development platform um, where I can code Python and Django. And uh, I just thought that was an interesting thing to try and share. So thank you very much for watching. This is now uh, just a dev or dev jolt, whatever I call myself now, signing off. There's the camera.